the last part to finish up order of operations is addition and subtraction. In order of operations, addition does not come before subtraction. Instead, we're going to work adding and subtracting from left to right. This is because subtracting can also be thought of as adding the opposite. To test this out, let's go back to adding negatives on a number line for a minute. Let's start with positive 8 minus positive 5. Well, to illustrate out positive 8 minus positive 5, I would start at 0 and positive 8 would go ahead and send me 8 places to the right. Okay, from there I want to take away positive 5. Well, positive 5 would normally send me 5 more places to the right, but I want to take away those. So instead, that's going to send me back the opposite direction, 5 places back to the left. So when we do that, we wind up at positive 3. So positive 8 minus positive 5 leaves me with positive 3. Now, if subtracting can be thought as adding the opposite, that means I could rewrite this subtraction problem, keep my positive 8, change my subtraction to addition, and take the opposite of positive 5, which would be negative 5. But let's illustrate that out on the number line as well. Again, we would start at 0. Positive 8 would send us 8 places to the right, so that part stays the same. Next, we need to add negative 5. Both well, positive values send me to the right, negative values send me back to the left. So adding negative 5 would send me 5 places back to the left. So that means we're still going to wind up at that positive 3. So subtracting gave us the same result as adding the opposite did. In order of operations, if order matters, let's try testing out the same problem three different ways. First, let's do our addition before we do our subtraction. So that means we would start out with 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8, so that means now we would have 10 minus 8. 10 minus 8 gives me 2. Okay, on this next one, let's work left to right instead. That means subtraction is going to come before addition this time. So 10 minus 5 leaves me with 5. So now I'm going to have 5 plus 3 to finish off that problem. 5 plus 3 is 8. Well, that's a very different result than 2. Now let's try it using the idea that subtraction can be rewritten as adding the opposite. That means instead of 10 minus 5, my 10 is going to stay the same, subtracting is going to become addition, and positive 5 is going to become negative 5. And then the positive 3 continues. So that means first I would have 10 plus negative 5. Well, 10 plus negative 5 means I'm going to have 5 left, and then when I add 3 to that, 5 plus 3 gives me 8. So we notice adding the opposite gives us the same result as working from left to right, and the one that truly did adding before subtracting is different. So when we work through our order of operations, addition and subtraction get worked left to right because of that adding the opposite part. So keeping that in mind, let's finish off our problem. Our last part is 12 minus 2 plus 75. So we're going to work from left to right. So first we have our 12 minus 2. 12 minus 2 is 10, so now we have 10 plus 75. So the last step in our whole problem is going to be that 10 plus 75, which gives us a final result of 85. If you want to see this problem worked out straight through in its entirety, go to the next video of Work It Out in this playlist. <music>